Hey, what is up guys? It's me, Apple Sledge Performer here, and today I'm going to show you how to run your iPod from your home screen. So you can control your iPod from your computer. So, uh, first things first, you guys are going to want to go into Cydia. And you guys are want to go uh, search for a package. You're going to want to go search. Hold on a sec, guys. Loading. Alright, now that that's done, you guys are going to go to search. Okay, now you guys are going to want to type in V E E N C Y. And it should be the first pop up you get right there. It's called V E N C Y. You want to want to click that, and you're going to uh, install. But I already have it installed, guys, so uh, I'm just going to want to hit the home screen, since I already have it installed. Alright, guys, since now you have that installed for uh, your iPod Touch or iPhone, Vinci, I think that's what it's called, now you guys are going to want to go to install VNC, and uh, I should have a link in the video description. It has all the files up in one. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back to the video, and, uh, yeah. When you click the link in the video, it should pop up something like this. It'll say VNC Free Editor, Real VNC 4.1.3. You'll want to press Free Download. And you'll want to press Mirror 1, and, it, and you'll save it. And then when you save it to your save it, you're going to want to run it and install everything it has. And so... Alright guys, so now once you have the that downloaded, you're going to want to go open it up if you have a desktop icon, but if you don't, then I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to want to go to Start Menu, you're going to want to go to All pro all Programs, and like scroll down until you see Real VNC. Double click Real VNC, uh, v VNC Viewer 4, it's regular VNC Viewer 4, and you're going to click Run VNC Viewer. Right there, guys. Okay. So here's real VNC and then real VNC viewer and then the bottom one right there. So you're going to want to double click that. And now guys, you're going to want to uh you're going to want to go to your iPod. And yes, this does require Wi-Fi, guys. So sorry I forgot to mention that. You're going to want to go to settings. And uh, you're going to want to go to Wi-Fi and click the blue arrow by your network. And so there we go. Now right next to your IP address right there should show your IP address. So yeah. Alright, so once you get that once you get the IP address, you just want to keep your I iPod, iPod touch on the IP address place and go back up to your computer. So now now once you uh once you run it, you should get something like this once you click it. Now you're just going to want to type in your IP address right there. And so I'm going to do that for you guys, but I'm not going to show you my IP address. Alright guys, so once you uh, ha put in your IP address and clicked OK, you should get something on your iPod, iPod Touch or iPhone. You should get a message saying that right there. You're just going to want to click Accept. And now, this is what it should pop up. Alright, now this is what it should pop up once you get done with that. So, uh, yeah, you can just control everything from your iPod Touch. Like, you can do that, go to the next page, go to the other page, and you're willing to, yeah, guys, that's about it. You can go into settings right here and basically do whatever you want from your iPod. See, it's going into settings right there and right there. And you can basically control anything from here. So, yeah, guys, if this helped you out, please rate it five stars. Comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. Message me for more details, guys.